Yo, what's up guys, and first of all, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys that there's actually a way to fly a cargo plane, and that it's pretty easy, it's easier than I thought, I kinda messed up, uh, I tried doing it a week ago, but now I figured out how to do it, so, um, first of all, the guy's channel who has the right link out of all the ones I tried, Name's Kaboo says what the fuck. Cool guy. Alright, so um there should be a link to download the flyable cargo plane thing. And once you download it, it's a RAR file. Well, I'll just redo it real quick. Okay, this computer's real slow, so don't don't blame me. It's going slow. I'm gonna open this. Close flyable cargo plane. It is very buggy, but I mean, it still flies as expected. GTA 5 flyable car. And then this file right here is what you want. So it's very easy. Very. Um, what you want to do is I use Mario 3.0. I don't like Horizon, so if you want to use Mario 3.0, um, I'm not sure if there's a download link, because I, I got that before, uh, you know, all those Mario's came out and they replaced that. But I like Mario 3.0 way better. Then you want to go to Explorer Device. I don't have my USB in, so you just open, close the drive, and actually, hmm, I, I think I can get my USB in, wait. Alright, so I just put my USB in. Okay. Uh, no, you go to contents, game, save, game saves and profiles, go to, this is my profile, if you don't know your profile code, then you might as well move your profile to your, um, move your profile to your USB, but I know my profile code, so I don't really have to move it, uh, whenever I'm doing that. Then here's a list of all the games you have, which include saves and stuff, you want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Game saves. There should be one of these, but one of them is an auto save because I died and it saved over. So I don't want to show you the um. I damn it! I just did. Oh, basically, you get your profile ID and you just uh. You copy it. Actually, hold up. Then what you want to do, I'm horrible at tutorials, so you get this, extract it, extract it, extract it to your desktop, which is, you extract it anywhere you want, but desktop is the best place. Then what you want to do is, below that, then once you, um, then what you want to do is press, press insert file, insert your, um, this is GTA 5. 50,000, which is this. Open under designer. Should say caboose. Caboose over there. I can't focus. Camera sucks. I, I already did it. See? So, what you. Uh, oh, by the way, don't copy an auto save onto the USB. You have to copy like a, a mission. Like, I copied uh, Rampage 1 onto here, which is a mission mission save and this is gonna have its own code I just well cuz I just copied mine so you take these copy them onto here once you do that press re all right sorry my thing cut off but well, what I meant to say was reaction resign and save to device when you press save to device it should have a list of your gamer tags or your gamer code if you know it and then once you save to device close it and let's go to Xbox now should work should Alright, so now that we're on um, GTA 5, okay, you have to go to game and then load game and the save, sh you have to go to your USB save and it should say cargo plane, cargo plane mod, and after that, uh, just load it up, now we have to wait at the loading screen, <laughs> 
So now you should spawn in a huge cargo plane in midair. Just press or tap RT and it and it should just flow down to the floor. And this thing is huge. It's huge. You can tell it's way bigger than the jets. And, um, and then now uh, private jets gonna. Every time you open it up, a private jet's gonna land. So just let it land. Apparently. Um, okay. So it just stops in the middle of the runway, which is weird. <clears throat> so just uh, let it move if it's gonna move, and uh, if if this did work, you should spawn in a cargo plane. You can do anything you want, um, but you can't. You you cannot fit it. You cannot fit it in a hangar. This thing is too big to fit in a hangar. It doesn't fit in either hangers. I tried it. Um, it almost, it almost fits, fitted. It almost fit in the Devon Weston hangar. It sounds a little bigger, but still, um, I don't doubt it's gonna get stored in there. So you know, do, do not store it. Just load up the save every time you die, and you should spawn an annihilator. Um, a little problem with it is if you hold or if you hold RT too long, the engine dies out. And later in the video, you'll see my plane just flies into the ground, literally, or flies into the ocean and we sink. So yeah, this this mod's pretty fun. I'm I'm glad I finally figured out how to do it, and I and I basically explained it for all the people who didn't know how to do it. I made it look real simple, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be able to use it now. If you don't know how to use it, or, I mean, if it doesn't work for you, just uh, comment, and I will help you. Just whatever you want, I'll tell you what's wrong. Remember, you have to rehash and resign, save the device, you have to change the ID codes, because if you use his ID codes, it won't work. Because his ID, the ID code belongs to his account, not yours. So if you replace the ID codes and save it to save it to device and rehash and resign all that, it should work. There is no reason why it shouldn't. So yeah, enjoy your cargo plane. I'll have a link in the description, and I'll also have a link in the description for uh, Caboose says what the account his account and that way you go subscribe to him i didn't make this up i'm pretty sure caboose made this up himself because he's he makes a lot of mod videos so yeah um if caboose if you're watching this hey could you try to um like fix the back because i'm pretty sure there was a mission with dom at the end of the game where uh he fix or where you fly in a cargo plane and the back is it's just open, but it's still fixed. Maybe you could try to script that into a new save. I don't know. Hopefully, Rockstar will will let us fly these cargo planes around. They're huge and they're real fun to use, especially online. You could just like store a whole bunch of stuff in there, and they should make it like closable. Unlike, okay. See, here's where I land into the ocean, and I sink. And I sink and I sink and I can't get out. Or actually, when I get out, I die. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's the whole video, and you can, you could just watch the rest. Basically, it's just me riding around, showing you what you can and what you can do with the cargo plane. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to subscribe. It took me a while to figure out what to do and how to get it to work. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys later, DB Razor, out.